the hidden truth about getting older, the hidden truth about getting old, what older people often will not tell you. Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. The hidden truth about getting old. The hidden truth. What old people often will not tell you. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. Well, I wanted to come on here and talk about often what older people don't tell you and often some of the thoughts that older people have. Now, this may not apply to all older people, but I think it applies to a lot of older people, especially people over the age of 60. Well, as you know, I don't give advice, suggestions, information, or recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. And so this one is about getting old or getting older. The other day I was talking to a friend and she's 90 and I'm 64 and she said, oh, you're so, so young. And her perspective is that I'm very young. Now, someone who's 20 may see me as being old. So age is all in perspective. Okay, I'm technically 64, but my attitude age is forever 29, okay? Well, I got to thinking about this subject, and I got to thinking about some of the things that older people will not tell you. And one of the things is that often, no matter how well you take care of yourself, the aging process can have its shortcomings. And so, some older people, a lot of older people, um, especially in my age group and older, um, begin to notice, notice health issues that they never had before. Things about their body that they may have never even noticed. I talked to one friend who's well over the age of 70, and she said, your best friend becomes your doctor after the age of 70, and life is lived in between the doctor's visits. Well, I hope that that is really not so, and yet I think for many it is, and that is a reality of growing older, that no matter how much you take care of your body, no matter how much you take care of it, um, things can go wrong. Things that are unexpected and things that you maybe even have no control over. That is why I believe in doing the very, very best at taking care of my body and being aware that no matter how much I take care of my body, th there are things that can go amiss and not the way I want. And so that doesn't mean, well, I might as well give up and just not take care of myself. No, I do take care of myself regardless in hopes that, well, at least I can minimize some of the um, aging effects on the body, okay? So I think the way we take care of ourselves does have a great impact. Can we avoid everything? I don't know, maybe some people can, but I think most people can't. I think as we age, there are things that happen to the body, changes that take place on the body, and things we cannot totally avoid. But hopefully there are things that we can either correct or adapt or adjust to and continue to live a very full life. 
okay? So growing old does not mean that we're going to grow sick. It just means that there may be health issues that can come along the way. And it can come even way before the age of 60 or 70 or 80. It can come, there, just the aging process at any age, there are things that we're going to see. The longer you live, the more things you're going to see, not just about yourself, but about other people. One of the other things that I think a lot of people don't like to talk about as they get older is losses because often there are losses. Um, people can lose relationships, um, people can pass on, people can move away, people can, you know, change or distance themselves. Maybe we're not, you know, as an older person, not as active and as involved as we once were, and so we're not as connected. And so sometimes some of those relationships may fall away. I think that's another thing older people notice when they get older. Although there are many older people that are extremely active, extremely busy, and that is not um, a problem for them, okay? It just depends upon how active someone is when they get older. And I think another thing is older people begin to think about things. Things, you know, material things, their car, their house, their furniture, their photo albums, their home videos. and they think about things that they realize, a lot of older people realize that we really don't own anything. We're kind of loaned everything while we're here. And I think the closer um, th the older people get, people realize that. And they put more value upon their experiences, their relationships, and they put more value upon each day and their time, the older that they get. When we're younger, we think life is going to last forever. We think everything we own is ours, ours, ours. But often older people realize that those things are going to be passed on to somebody and then somebody else and then somebody else. And so often older people begin to think about those things. What do I want to do with those things? Do I want to downsize and give away my things now? Do I want to begin to give away things a little at a time? Do I want to give them all away? Do I want to keep them all? You know, they begin to think about scenarios like that. They begin to think about when they do pass on, you know, maybe to 150, but when they do pass on, where are those things going to go? And who are they going to go to? A lot of older people think about that. So the aging process and the older we get, we often have to deal with different issues or sometimes issues that every age group deals with. And there are also blessings to our age group. Often we have more time to do the things that we love. Often we have more time to pay attention to our bodies and take care of what we didn't take care of before. Often we can invest more time in those relationships that we wanted to spend more time with. Often we appreciate and value each day so much more. Often we have an awareness about the beauty of life that we didn't have before. We don't take things and people or ourselves for granted. So I thought I would come on here and just talk a little bit about the aging process and what often old people don't talk about. And remember, when I talk about old people, old is just a perception of whatever you want it to be. I know people in their 90s that think they're young. I know people in their 30s that think they're old. I think I'm young. And yet there are realities that come with our technical age that may have not come before it. And I just wanted to share that with you, a little bit of insight here, okay? Well, I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned at the top of the comment section below. If you connect with me, I will likely connect with you. And if for any reason the links don't work, just cut and paste the name of the channel and you can go directly to it to connect. Thank you, may God bless you, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.
to relax.